Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Guerin Parish. Today is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we come together as one in the Lord, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. Hello. Today's celebrant is Father Paul, and our deacon is Deacon Delarco. Our gathering song will be Gather Your People, found in your journey songbook, number 768. Number 768. Please stand. Gather your people, O oh Lord. Gather your people, O oh Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O oh Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life. Brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O oh Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather this morning to celebrate the 16th Sunday in ordinary time, let us come and ask the Lord to give us strength and courage, especially during the Eucharist, so that we always strive to be faithful to God in our lives. And also, this, in this Mass, special Mass, we pray for all couples who celebrate their 50th anniversary and above. Let us ask the Lord to bless them for their loyalty to each other, for their dedication, for their good uh, example of faith, example of marriage in their life. Let us pray for them, and may we follow their good example. And also, let us ask the Lord to acknowledge our fellows for the time we fail to love God and others in our lives. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thanks for your great glory. 
Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servant, and mercifully increase the gift of your grace that made fervent in whole faith and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people. You have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them but I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadow. There they shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they need no longer fear and tremble and none shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. The word of the Lord. For the sake of his name, though I shall walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. sight of my foes. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, he who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. I think what stands out in this Gospel is how we might be envious of trying to find that deserted place because of the way we live, because of the conditions of our world. It's constantly competing for what we know for what we do every day. Even Jesus couldn't find rest in the boat and finding a deserted place because the people were pressing upon him, coming about, coming to him. Where does that leave us with that? Even Jesus can't find a little bit of rest. But there is some solutions to the factor. We're not going to change the world. It's, we get up each day, it's still full of crime, and politics, and many things that are not very pleasant. So where do we go from there? I think the answer is listening to what Jesus has taught us. He's all taught us how to follow the right way, the right path, what we should be doing. It's a matter of listening. 
I think last week he's brought out some of that. Last week he's telling the disciples to go forth. and Don't take a walking stick. Don't take food with you. Don't take your money with you. Just travel light. And I believe that he's giving an extreme example, certainly, but maybe not that extreme. We're supposed to think about how much we spend on the things we do, how much we would pack and take with us, rather than how much time we're spending with God. How much time do we spend listening to God, learning how the way we should live? Because each time we add these things, we add another layer. We add another layer of responsibility. We look around, we see people, they have two homes. They have two cars. They have two animals. The storage places are doing great. Maybe what we need to think about is Jesus and what he would do more and a little less about what we have, what we're doing, how we're spending our time, whether it's with hobbies, could be sports, could be trying to make more money. Do we listen to Jesus when he gives us the signals, the way to live, how to live. He takes them, and if you notice, when they're still trying to find somewhere to, to find a quiet place, what does Jesus do? He says, all right, we have a need here. And he teaches. Again, we have to listen to what he's telling us, what he's teaching us. He says they're like sheep without a shepherd. Doesn't that describe our world today? People are really not settled in and comfortable like we used to do. We are sheep without a shepherd, but we're not without the shepherd. If we listen to Jesus, we can find that little quiet spot. I could find it here. It's many people here amongst me. It's not alone, but I'm comfortable. Jesus is here, and he's with us when we pray during the day, and he's with us when we spend time considering what he likes, what he wants for us. And that's where the quiet place comes in. It's there for us, it's there for our taking, but we have to promote it. We have to be responsible with our time and what we do with it. The word responsibility is this really pretty important word. The word means the ability to research with the scriptures. He is sent into heaven be seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to turn the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection, the death, and the life of the world to come. Amen. So bring in our prayers together with one voice. Let us offer them to our merciful Father. For bishops, may God guide them in their work as shepherds for the many people they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who lead our communities, May God's justice illuminate their decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have no one to guide us and shepherd them in the ways of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, the body of Christ on earth, celebrating the National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit be upon her people and inflame the hearts of all who dwell within her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our newly wedded couple, Sarah Reese and John Marathay, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our bulletin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, Betty Jean Kane. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the intentions for which this Mass is offered. Roman and Anna Romaniak, Helena Golab, Josefa Porozic, Marie McGuire, birthday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. God of abundance, you hear our every need and desire. We ask that you listen and answer to our prayers. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The second collection today is for the Paris Capital Improvement. Thank you for your generosity. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and glory of all the church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice 
from your faithful servants and make it holy, as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your Majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. And lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changings of tides and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. So with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. By the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the whole Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Mr. Spirit, now let us show some sign of peace to one another.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy, you should enter into my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can be saved for eternal life. For those who cannot participate in today's liturgy, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy and blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A Korean song can be found in your journey book, number 765, Gather Us Together.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. To Christ our Lord. Please be seated. The announcement. Episode 8 from Season 4 of The Chosen will be shown on Tuesday, July 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in the Rectory at St. Cyprian's. The Parish Picnic is Sunday, July 28th at Evans Field beginning at 10 a.m. with Mass at 11 a.m. There will be games for the kids and bingo for the adults. All right, thank you. So next week, if you heard the announcement, we have a picnic for the Parish. So thanks for the men's club who organize it, but also the scouts and women club and a lot of different organizations, a lot of funds and game, and they cook hot dog and food for us. If you can stop by, that's the, uh, the uh, picnic areas in Evansville, so on Thatcher and uh, Fullerton in that area. So you can come and join us. We also have outdoor mass at 11 o'clock. As I mentioned, today we uh, celebrate all the those who married 50 years and above. So some of them married for almost close to 70 years, right? Anne and John, 68 years uh, anniversary and 53 and 50, over 50. I know that. <laughs> so for those who celebrate 50 and above, maybe 50 to 100, okay? You can please come up here. We can give you a blessing if you can go up there. And they all brought the gift, but, but those who celebrate 50th anniversary, to please, uh, please come up here, we can give you a special blessing. So you can go all the way up, so you'll be on live streaming, so everybody, the whole world will see you, okay? So go up there and turn around so they can see you. <laughs> Should I go up or down? Or yes, go up. All right. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have a lot of couples here, that's good. Yeah, Julie, please, please come up here. Yes. Oh, with him. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how they can keep together for over 50 years. You know, I asked one of the, <laughs> one of the uh, 50th couple, I said, how do you keep your marriage that long? It's, what's the secret? They said, okay, that's the secret. The man said, the husband said, you know, the man make all the big decisions. And the woman make all the small decisions. I said, oh my God, he said, you think that, that, that worked that way so they can live that long uh, together? He said, yes. But you know, he said, over 60 years, all big decisions, no big decision has been made, you know? <laughs> Which means you have to listen to your wife in order to live, to, to, to work together, live together happily for, for over 50 years. I think this is all the weakness. So let us give them big applause and now. Uh, I'd like to ask you please to extend your right hand so we can pray for all the couples up here. Now you should bow your heads now, up here. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of these marriage couples for over 50 years so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today amid the joys and struggles of their life you have preserved the union between them renew their marriage covenant increase your love in them and strengthen their bond of peace so that surrounded by their children and the community of saint mother theodore Guerin, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing and may the lord bless you all in the name of the father son holy spirit come upon you remain with you forever amen let us congratulate say i have holy water I think they need a lot of holy water in order to live another hundred years and above, okay? <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let us give a big applause and congratulations. Now you can go down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.
And we invite all those who celebrate 50 years and above with their family, they can join us in the annex for the cakes and for the celebration. So please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing song can be found in your Garen Songbook, number 17. Sing praise to our Creator. Sing praise to our Creator, redeemed of Adam's race, God's children by adoption, baptized in Oh, eternal Son.